Hello everyone, welcome back to 45 Drives for another tech tip and well today we're showing off something something new. Well, maybe not new, but definitely a redesign. So let's get into it. So I'm sure as many of you know, we've been selling our MI4 and our C8 products for quite a while now. Very popular product, it's been used in wide ranges from single server ZFS box to big clusters, Proxmox nodes, everything. Um, our MI4, the front loading four bay unit, and the C8, the uh, front loading eight bay unit. So what did we redesign from? Because it's still a front loading four bay and it's still a front loading eight bay. But what we had done previously with those two units is we were using a third party chassis that we'd bring in. We built some extra parts for it to add our branding and some things we wanted. We'd integrate all our hardware with it, test it with all our hardware, and it would leave just so you'd know it would be the same as any of our other 45 drives chassis. But what it wasn't was the big, strong, fast, metal, industrial, um, toolless, caddy list design that you've come to love from 45 drives. So, why don't we go over what's changed as I introduce to you the newly redesigned MI4 and C8. All right, so let's start with this, what's, what's the same between the previous model and this one. So, um, the size of the units, exact same. MI4, 1U, C8, 2U. MI4, 4 bays front loaded, C8, 8 bays front loaded. Electronics, same electronics that were in the previous model. Same electronics that are, uh, you have the option on the other denser 45 drives unit. So, good to know for customers who currently already have MI4s or C8s that you can use these models interchangeably with the other ones and it'll feel like it's the exact same unit, but a little better. Anyway, let's continue. It's still got redundant power, of course. On the C8, we've got hot swappable, removable uh, boot drives. On the MI4, you would have to remove the lid to get to it because of limited space. Uh, like the MI4 and C8 previous versions, all the fans are hardwired, or not hardwired, sorry, they're plugged into the motherboard, so we have full PWM control, they're PWM fans. Um, the C8 is expandable with an expansion slots of four extra slots available to you, as long as it's a 2U half-height card, which most, most enterprise cards are. The MI4, you have room for one expansion card that we mount horizontally with a uh, PCI riser card, and um, that pretty much brings us the end of the things that are common between the two. So now let's talk about the fun stuff. What's new? So the first thing that we see right away is this is the 45 drives industrial strength cold rolled steel chassis that you've come to expect with our whole product line. This is built in the same plant by the same people, Protocase, who are building all our other units. It's rock solid. You will never find another tougher unit on the market as you will as, the, um, as our Storinator products. Um, so that's the first thing you'll notice right away. This is built entirely here by us. Next is uh, the thing we always love to say. We hate caddies and we like to reduce as many tools as possible. So the other, the other design truly was toolless, fair enough, but we have, with this new design, and we've got rid of the caddies completely because I've said it again and I'll say it again, we hate caddies. So what's really cool about this design here is the, um, anti-vibration, the locking mechanism that comes in, and the ejection mechanism, how it is. So here I've got eight drives installed. So uh, let me remove one of these drives. And it's somehow, sometimes hard to capture how nice something feels mechanically in a video. So I'll try to react accordingly. But it's lever, you pull sideways like that. You hear that kind of, tss, it's wonderful. Slide the drive out, slide the drive in, click, and there you go. Toolless, rigid, solid, amazing, amazing, amazing mechanical engineering that went into this. I'm incredibly proud of it. And one of our engineers on staff, Alex, has spent a lot of good time with this and can't wait for you guys to see it. So part of the mechanical changes we've done is we spent a significant time making sure that the airflow was improved to get as much through the drives as possible and through our expansion cards as well. One of the drawbacks of the previous design with the cramped space is that it did get warm, particularly if you had a lot of extra NIC cards or, or additional expansion cards in the server. So we have pur purposely designed the backplane to allow as much air through as possible. The fans have been sized accordingly and 
where they are controllable by the motherboard to ramp up and ramp down to keep the correct speed, to keep everything nice and cool. Uh, we are confident in saying that this new design is significantly colder than the previous designs. Okay, so the next thing, moving past the uh, mechanical design, which again, I cannot stress enough how awesome it is. I almost just swore right there. I was that excited about it. Um, to the electronics, how the drives are wired. So the C8 and the MI4 both are UBM compatible backplanes, meaning you can do SATA, SAS, and NVMe. Now, we'll focus on the C8 first as I talk through this. So the drive bays are sized to accommodate three and a half inch drives, mechanical hard drives. We sell caddies as well that can adapt seven millimeter and 15 millimeter SSDs as well, whether that be SATA, SAS, and NVMe. They are electrically connected by one PCI lane, so do keep that in mind. This is designed to be a SATA hard drive machine first, but again, it can do NVMe, which is awesome. And as you'll see this UBM technology roll out in all our products as we move forward, we're again, really proud about that. So the PCB backplane that you can't quite see right now um, was designed in-house again by another one of our talented engineers, Josh Boudreau. Um, and then so that backplane feeds back into a LSI 9600 controller, the same ones that we use in our, our NVMe, our F2 and our F16 designs. So again, really, really cool thing there. Um, I will add the caveat right now, the MI4. While the backplane is UBM compatible, due to keeping the size constraints, leaving the um, PCI expansion port open for maybe NIC cards or something that you want, we do attach the drives directly into the motherboard. The motherboard has a SATA controller on it, so the MI4 by default supports SATA drives. However, it can be upgraded to do SAS, NVMe, and, and um, SATA by adding a UBM compatible controller in there. Um, so with that out of the way, let me keep going with the rest of the room in the chassis. We have, we have elongated it slightly to allow for ATX motherboards as we have a couple options that way if you want a little more computing power and just to give flexibility to the end users. And that brings us to the end of the tour really of what's new. Again, you know what, I'll circle back to what's the same. You know what's the same? The same care, love, and service that you'll get when you buy a product from 45 Drives. We look after you from sales to service and we won't stop till we make you happy. So we're really happy. I, I personally am over the moon excited with the design that the team has put into this. I'm gonna do another drive real quick because I love the sound of it. Listen to that. And that click back in. I wanna stress again, the, the mechanicalness of this is beautiful. And uh, we can't wait to see you guys get your hands on it and use it. And I will stress one more time on that as well. For existing MI4 and C8 customers, don't worry, it looks, damn near similar to the other one due to the front panel and it operates the same way electrically form fit and function it's going to feel like the same box so you can add those to your products box clusters your Ceph clusters or just more single servers all right so that brings us to the tour of our new units i've said it enough times but i'm going to say it to you again really proud of these things they are available for purchase now on our website 45drives.com go check that out um, again reach out phone call message, type, whatever you want, all the socials. We want to hear from you. If you've got any questions, reach out. And um, I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you next time.